Hello everybody, uh, Dane here and welcome to my July 2022 uh, book haul. I have some, oh I have more books than I thought here, Jesus. I also have a vinyl, this is uh, the Patti Smith group with Because the Night uh, 45 inch single, so I got that from the charity shop. Basically I've been getting a lot of stuff from charity shops because I'm sorting through all of my book collection. I'm kind of donating a lot of the old stuff, a lot of the stuff I don't want in the permanent collection. Um, and then some of this permanent collection goes on eBay and then we have the actual permanent collection which is up here in my office as opposed to in my living room. Uh, and that obviously does not go on eBay. But anyway, because I've been taking like a rucksack and a tote bag to the charity shops most days, I've been having a little look at the books while I'm there. Dane reads. So, I got uh, The Disappearance of Adele Bideau by Graham McRae Burnett. Um, he wrote a book, and I can't remember what it was called now. His Bloody Project, I think it was called, and that was wicked. Um, and I was sent a, a review copy of that, and I really enjoyed that, so I've been meaning to get to more of his stuff. I got Empire of the Sun by J.G. Ballard. Um, oh, it's about the Second World War, see, I didn't even know that. But, um... Yes, I've enjoyed reading Ballard before, and this is probably one of his most famous ones. I got Pirate Latitudes by Michael Crichton. Just slowly but surely picking up the Michael Crichton books I haven't read yet. I got Flowers in the Attic by Virginia Andrews, VC Andrews. Um, and I, I picked this up because some of my clients were talking to me about it, saying what a good book it is, so I thought I should probably read it. Um, I got Spike Milligan, The Best of Milligan, A Celebration. And then I've got Ibsen, A Doll's House and Other Plays. It's actually also The League of Youth and The Lady from the Sea. Um, I have read A Doll's House, so I can skip that one. I'll probably still read the introductory notes and all that stuff. But yeah, it'd be cool to read some more Ibsen. Then from online on Tintinet, I've got Grandpa in Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson. Um, so this is just continuing the Oz stories. Um, I'm slowly but surely sort of working my way through these. I was reading them with as a buddy read with Joel Swagman, but I think I'm actually at the point now where he, he doesn't... We've, like, we've ran out of all the free online versions, so he can't read anymore anyway. Um, and then I got Asking for Trouble by Tori Wag, and she signed it to me too, Dane. Love from Tori. Thank you, Tori. Um, so I met Tori at um, a, a festival. It was called Far Out Festival, Back to the Garden. Um, and my band, The Ilk, was playing there, but they also were looking for people to hold stalls, so I said I'd show up with some of my books, put some of my books out sold about 50 quid worth of books which was nice and uh, Tori and I basically swapped books so I'm really looking forward to reading this I saw her read as well and it was great so um, I'm looking forward to reading this and then I'm hopefully going to interview her for my radio show so that's what I've got for you hello everybody if you can hear a loud noise it's my fan but it is very hot here it's been over 30 degrees which for UK temperature is insane um, I've got a couple of books that I have got so I would like to update you on them so I can add them to my Goodreads so the first I picked up The Trouble with Goats and Sheep by Joanna Cannon I uh, got this in a charity shop I believe Charles Heathcote is a fan of this one so that was all I needed I know the title and stuff but I literally know nothing about it um, yeah Sounds good. And then I got Dreamer of June, the biography of Frank Herbert by Brian Herbert. And this is like hench, this. Uh, big old, about 540 pages. Um, yeah, biography of Frank Herbert. Which I'm quite excited about reading. Because um, I've read all of the June books now, so I just kind of want to read this to, you know, finish it off, I suppose. Hello, greetings and guten tag. We're currently in the middle of a heat wave here in the UK, so I'm very hot. And if you can hear a noise, it is my fan next to me, because I need to remain cool. I picked up two books from the charity shop the other day. I picked up Artemis by Andy Weir, so I did enjoy The Martian. I've heard mixed things about Artemis, but I mean, what the hell, it's only a couple of hundred pages long, so I'll, I will check it out anyway. And uh, I also got The Girl Who Takes an Eye for an Eye, which is by David Lagerkrantz, and it's a continuation of Stieg Larsson's Millennium series. Um, I think The Girl in the Spider's Web comes before this one, and I haven't read that. I've only read the original trilogy, so I do need to pick that other one up before I get to this. But uh, it'd be nice to continue, you know. Hello, people of the internet. I have two books to show you today. These are courtesy of the fas fascinating, I was going for fantastic, but whatever, Charlie Heathcote. He sent me Encore du Nicolas by Gossini et Sempe, and also Le Chat et les Pigeons by Agatha Christie. Um, so this is obviously The Cat Amongst the Pigeons um, and in French. And then this, 
I don't really know what it's about because it doesn't have a blurb, but uh, Gassini is the guy, one of the guy who wrote um, Asterix, and then it's been translated, not translated, I don't know what it's been done actually, what does it say, adapted by Anne Dubbs BA, formerly the Modern Languages Department, Woodbury Down Comprehensive School, illustrated by Senpei, so I don't, I don't really know. I think I think it's just been simplified. It does actually say here, look, um, the sentences use the present, perfect, imperfect, future, and conditional. At the end of each chapter, there are questions and a selective vocabulary. Awesome. So yes, thank you, Charlie, for sending me these. Hello, everybody. I have some more books, and given that tomorrow, oh, yeah, tomorrow is the last day of the month, and it's a Sunday, so there will be no post. So I, c I think I can sort of wrap this all up here. But yeah, I got two online. So I got The Lost King of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, um, continuing the Wizard of Oz series. So quite excited about that. Reading that as a buddy read with Joel Swagman, although he's very behind, and I don't think he's ever going to catch up at this point. I got The Hungry by Stephen W. Booth and Harry Shannon. So I picked this up. This is published by Genius Book Publishing, and these guys uh, want to pick up and republish Meat. So I wanted to read this to kind of get a feel for the quality of their books and whatnot. Um, and yeah, Stephen is the like the MD. I had a chat with him. I mean, it looks the formatting's pretty good. So yeah, looking forward to getting to that. And then I have these two that I got from the charity shop. So we have Find Them Dead by Peter James, which is one of his Roy Grace crime novels, number 16-ish. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting to that. And then we have The Man Who Died Twice by Richard Osman, um, which is his second Thursday Murder Club mystery. Um, I quite liked his first one, even though I can't remember the name of it. So yes, looking forward to getting to that. And that seems like a good place to leave this. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button. Fucking tripod, mate. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.